And now, from Tommy and Eddie, who bring you SGTV, the Laugh More with the Skit Guys podcast, and the book Smells Like Bacon, it's time for Bedtime Bible Stories with the Skit Guys. It's almost time for bed, before you rest your sleepy head. Let us take a moment or two. There he is, guys. We got a bedtime Bible story for you. Before you end the day, before you count those sheep, let us tell you a bedtime story. Hey, hey, Selfie Sam. Hmm? We're doing the theme song. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just getting some selfies. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Where are we at? You Your said part. what? Your part. Oh, hold on. I can do this. I got okay. this. I got this. Okay. <laughs> so you can have a great night's sleep. <laughs> Cause it is a bedtime Bible stories. Bedtime Bible stories. Bedtime Bible stories with the skit guys. Featuring Selfie Sam. <laughs> Hey everybody! Welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories. My name is Tommy Woodard, and this is my best friend in the whole wide world. Hi. 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 Hey everyone. My name is Eddie James. We are the Skid Guys, and you are watching Bedtime Bible Stories. Hey, I just want to ask okay. how many raise your hand if you're ready for a good night tonight, a good Sunday night. Okay, I see you. I see you in Alaska. I see you in the Honduras. Oh, I see you in Georgia. I, I see all of them. I see all of them. I think everybody's very happy to be here, Tommy. Everybody. I am too. Did you say the Honduras? The Honduras. Oh, is that that's what they call it. That's the new name. Got it. <laughs> I was going to say the Philippines and then my brain went to Honduras. That's fine. I love it. I like the Honduras. Hey, speaking of the Honduras, I think we have some BBS regs in the Honduras. Hey, BBS. hey, you want to tell everybody what a BBS reg is in case they're a hashtag newbie. It's really simple. If you are a hashtag newbie, then you need to know what a BBS reg is. A BBS reg is anyone who's watched one tenth of an episode of BBS. That makes That's you a it. BBS you reg. You don't even have to subscribe to it. You just no, got uh -uh. a much... But by right now, if you're a newbie and you've watched this much. Yeah. You're a reg. You're a reg. If you've watched just, maybe you're somebody who like, it comes on and you watch two seconds and then turn it off. But you've watched that several times. You're still a BBS reg. Mm, I like that. You, you like can't escape it. That. You can't escape. Speaking of BBS regs, we got a video uh, from a BBS regs. This is Carissa. And she was very kind to us. Watch this. Yo, what is up, Tommy and Eddie? Carissa here. First, I wanted to congratulate you guys on reaching season six of Bedtime Bible Stories. What an incredible milestone. What an incredible goal. I honestly can't believe we're in season six already because I feel like we should be further down in the seasons, but we're not. We're in season six. So congratulations and thank you for all that you do. And also, I have a very important question. Have you heard or seen the TV show, The Chosen? If you haven't, check it out. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you so much. Carissa! Carissa! First of all, thank you for complimenting us on season six. We're as shocked as anybody that we're in season six. Yes. And we got to thank Kayla for that as well. Um, oh, yeah. We, hey, friends and family and grandmas and grandpas, two to 200. Aunts and uncles. We, aunts and uncles. Friends mentors, and enemies. Whoever you are watching Bedtime Bible Stories, we realize the world is opening up and you don't need us four nights a week anymore. But Kayla and the rest of the gang got together and went, you know what? Bedtime Bible Stories is pretty important. Let's all get together on a Sunday night and let's let's encourage people as they go out in their work as in the go out in their week of school and work. So we're honored to be a part of your life. Yes, we love it. And by the way, Carissa, yes, we are very familiar with the chosen. 
Uh, that is a fantastic show. We think it's great and love that so many people are watching it and learning more about Jesus and his how much he loves us. I love that. Hey, you know what Carissa did? She just changed part of the format of bedtime Bible stories. What? We asked people to send to email us at skitguys.com right over there. Oh, right there. I've got one of those. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Poof. Right there, right uh -huh. there. So we ask for theme songs. We ask for scripture memory. We ask if you need a Bible, we'll mail you a Bible. We ask you for your buy videos. But what Carissa did, here's what else you could video and that you could ask us a question. Ooh, I love it. I love it so much. So friends, bedtime, BBS rags, newbies. I don't care how young you are, how old you are videotape your question and send it to us at skid guys and we'll put you on the air and we may have an answer for you yes yes and if we don't have one we'll make it up but and and here's what you need to know since we're only on one time a week you got to do it sooner than later so we can get all of these in so we can we can answer your questions but don't wait we're like ah, well, i may do it do it now Yes, very good idea. So Eddie mentioned the different things we've asked you to send in before. One of those things is your creative best. We love it when you use your gifts and talents to honor God. And we got one of those. This is great. This is a creative best from Karis. The video was Carissa, but this is Karis. And oh. Karis has made a, a perspective uh, picture. And it, she, it says to bring it all to Jesus. And she has this down there sorrows and pain and worries and just all these things that that we struggle with and she says give them to jesus and drew a picture of it i love that i love that what it, what is that um so there's pain that i see the yellow one what is the small one right there uh, i think it's the scaredness oh that's be your fears yeah oh that's so good and yay this one here let's see oh there it is Yep. Oh, lies. Fear. See, lies. lies. Yeah. Sorrow, pain. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Karis, that is so beautiful. You have, you have just. That is so mature. That is so big. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're thinking great big thoughts, and you're helping people to see Jesus. Great job. Great job. Fantastic. Keep using your gifts and talents that way. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hmm. Hey, what is this? What is it, buddy? Hey, buddy. What is it? We all want to know. I what is this? I don't know. Ask them. Ask them. What are Guys, they thinking? what is this? Hang on. Let me see. It says Holly Bibley. It says Holly Bibley. No, no, no. Long on the O, long on the I, silent on the E. Oh, Holy Bible. It's my holy brown Bible. Bible. It's your brown Bible. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Have you seen mine? Oh, it's in your hand. Huh? It's right there in your hand. I can't find it. It's in Have your you left hand. It? Check your left hand. Look at your left hey, hand. Guys, have you seen my Bible? Guys, tell him he can't hear me. For some reason, he can't hear me. Yell out, it's in your left hand. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> it's in your left hand. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't know. I thought we were doing it right then. I, but I think there were some people all over the world that yelled it the first time. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh, there's no question about it. Hey guys, we've got our Bibles, but also uh, Peyton and Tate have their Bibles. How cool is that? I'm going to hold mine up, up over here. You hold yours the other way. Yeah. Ah! We like Peyton and Tate. I love it. Uh, so we have ours. Our verse of the day is Matthew 23, 11. All right. Matthew 23, 11. And while you're looking that up, Eddie, hide your eyes. I've got a word of the day. We're going to see if Eddie can guess it. And if you'd like to try and guess it, then close your eyes. But if you want to help Eddie guess it, then look, here it goes on three. I think you're looking. See, when you put that, when I can't see your eyes, there we go. Okay. So no, see, then you could, when you put those back on, I think, yeah. Okay. So uh, if you see, no, when you put it back on, I think you're looking. I think you're I'm looking. Not. Here, let me do my best Batman voice. Okay. I'm not looking. Do that again. I'm not looking. <laughs> That's your best Batman uh, voice. Okay, Batman. so here's the word of the day. All right? That's the word we're going for, and we'll see if we can. I, I think it's a great word, but we'll see if we can make Eddie guess it. I'll it's on me. Onus on me. I if I if I 
if I get him to guess it, I've done a great job. If not, I didn't do a great job. Good. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Yes. Season five. Yeah. Tommy, I, I had a baby Yoda. Yeah. Did you, were you in my office or did you have a family member say anything to take baby Yoda? Because baby Yoda is not around anymore. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and look at this passage um, <clears throat> that we were just talking about. Hashtag, and where is baby Yoda? It's Matthew 23, 11. Um, I'm going to avoid that conversation. Um, Matt, uh, Matthew 23, 11, because I might have had something to do with it. Matthew 23, 11, okay? Uh, and this is Jesus talking. If you've got a red letter Bible, it's, it's in red, and that means Jesus is talking. It says this, uh, the greatest among you will be your servant. And then 12 goes on and says, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So we're talking about Jesus, and he loves people who serve. Hey, everybody, what do you think the word humble means? If you if you know, if you have an idea of what the word humble means, t type it out right now. Um, tell us tell us your version of the word humble. It's a big word. It's a church word, but it's also a word that we use in discipline. And when we talk about somebody or we want it for ourselves, humility. What, when you talk what, about dessert. A humble dessert? Yeah, like humble pie. Oh, or they they need to eat humble they pie. They need to eat some humble pie. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, so we're getting some different people typing some things out of what humility means or what it means to be humble. Um, humble, uh, it, in the dictionary, it means to lower yourself. It means to... What, what Jesus is saying, to put yourself last. It doesn't mean to get bullied or beat up or become like, you know, just, just someone that someone can just, you know, knock around and, you know, you'll do whatever because you want to people please. But humility comes from a strength of God's character that he gives to you. There's a, there's a lowering yourself to help others in a very uh, uh, unique and Jesus-like way. Nice. Came out of my mouth. It was good. I liked oh. it. But okay, so let's let's look at this because sometimes we may go, I don't even know if I can be humble or I don't, you know, but hey, don't worry, because even the disciples, when they oh. were walking with Jesus, they were perfect. No, what? not at all. Not what? at all. What they had a, yeah, listen to this. Uh Mark 9 to go along with uh, our scripture, Matthew 10. It says this, verse 33, after they arrived at Capernaum and settled in a house, Jesus asked his disciples, the people that were walking with him and said yes to him, what were you discussing on the road? Jesus oh, asked. I bet you they were talking about ministry and how they can help people and helping the poor. Nay, 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 friend. Listen to this, verse 34, but they didn't answer. Can you imagine? They go into a house, they've been walking with Jesus and Jesus goes, hey, what were y'all talking about? They're like, <laughs> and then uh, and this is why they didn't answer because they had been arguing about which of them was the greatest. <laughs> so Jesus sat down, called the 12 disciples over to him. And he said, whoever wants to be first must take last place and be the servant of everyone else. Oh, that's so good. Can you imagine what that must have looked like that day? Hey, Bart. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, Bart. Yeah. Hey, hey. That's, it's been good serving with Jesus, hasn't it? Hey, man, you got some bad head, man. I know. Hey, man, you, you it's the look that head. the kids have going today. You just yeah. roll right out of the bed and go with it. It's called hey, you It's called the roll and go. I like it. I like yeah. it. You realize this look is coming back, too? You realize that? Not that one. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> not yeah, not yeah, that buddy. one. Not that look. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a similar look coming back. It ain't that one. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Hey, so, yeah. um, okay. Now we've been talking a lot. Yeah. Hey, yeah. does my accent, does my Southern accent match up to the previous seasons when we did these characters? It does. If you don't go back and check it. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Hey, what's yeah. your name again? Bart or Andrew? I can't I'm remember. I'm Andy. You're Bart. I'm Bart. Yeah. I'm Bart. Yeah, I'm you're Bart. Bart. I, hey. I just called you like I called you that three times already today. I, I wasn't listening. It's all I, I know. Live. It's all I live. <laughs>
Yeah. Hey, you know I was afraid was doing when you were saying something to me. Thinking about what you were going to say next. I was going to skadoosh. Yes, <laughs> Hey, hey, I was thinking about something the other day. This, yeah, you know, Jesus, he's really great. He's really great, you know? And he heals people and he's nice to people. And, and we got tons of people following us. Like, right. like we got lots of followers, you We're know? doing miracles left and right. My Instagram account is blowed up, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I'm just getting real famous. Hold on, hold on. Let's get, let's get a selfie. Hold on. Okay. Where am I looking? Over here? Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking with you. Oh, hold on. Right over here. What? No, you had it doing right. Yeah, put it where it was. Yeah, there you go. Just look at the camera. No, look at your phone. Look at your phone. Look at the phone. Yeah, we're doing one together, phone. right? I'm looking at your phone too. Yeah, we're doing one together. Yeah. Like that? Mm-hmm. All right, smile. I am. <laughs> keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. Keep going. So I'm thinking like... I'm pretty sure out of the 12 of us, I'm probably the greatest disciple. Because, you now, know, I mean, I really do some cool stuff. Now, come on now. That's not even, now, come on now. That's not even fair. You know how much I've done. Andy, how can you even say that? I'm <laughs> going to be sitting, if he's going to be the king, I'm going to be sitting on the right side or even the left side. You know that's true. Bart, you let, know me that's ask, true. Bart let me ask you a question, Bart. How did, when did Jesus call you to be a disciple? Because well, let me tell you, like, I, I introduced my brother Peter to Jesus. Like, I knew him before Peter. They're probably not even going to write down in the Bible how you became a disciple. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, aren't we special? Aren't we so special? Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah. There's been nobody more than I, I, uh -huh. that is people when they're bugging him when they're all around Jesus hey skadoosh <laughs> yeah. skadoosh yeah you know what yeah hey I but who what what do you, right you do what look right here I even made my own uh my own uh <laughs> Christmas own ornament or yeah, Christmas ornament I well, give the I sell these wherever he goes we call them oh. Jesus birthday ornaments that's right that's right that's right skadoosh <laughs> That's fine. That's but let me ask you a question. When we're hungry, who goes and finds a little kid's lunch and brings it and is like, I would I but I was like I got the assist. Jesus did the miracle. I got the assist. I tossed the ball to him. I passed, I passed the fish and the bread to him so he could boom. You know, I'm not going to just sit here and try to one-up you, all right? You can't, because I'm the greatest. Hey, Jesus. What? Oh, hey, bro. Hey, Capernaum. Capernaum is pretty cool. This house that you got for us is pretty cool. Yeah, huh? yeah. What were we talking about? Um, On the road? In uh, here? Um, I don't know if I remember what we were talking about. Hey, 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 hey. hey. We need a skadoosh. We need a skadoosh. He's I've asking never, again. He's asking again. I've never said this about us, but we need a skadoosh. I know, boy. Ask him. He's asking again. Um. Well, we were just talking, you know, about the weather and uh, how cold it gets and how hot it gets. Bart, Bart, Bart was bragging, saying he was the best, saying he was the greatest. That's what happened. I was just thinking about pizza. Uh, we were all um, in defense uh, of of not taking the fifth, but just if I may speak directly, um, we were all talking about it, and we all think we're pretty great. We just want to know. We just want to know, sir. Uh, uh, which one would be on your left and your right when you become king? We know we're the best because you chose us twelve. But then out of the best, who's the greatest of the greatest? You, if you need to whisper in my ear to tell me that I am the greatest or one of them, you can. Just uh, blink I, twice if I'm the greatest. Just just nod your head and go, yes, sir, if, uh, if I am uh, one of them. <clears throat> oh, wow. He, uh... I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. That, uh, that, 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 wow, that, that seems obvious, but, um, that, 
he just uh, <sighs> look look at Thomas running away. Figures. <laughs> he just said, uh, "The greatest shall be last." I don't if know you want to be fan of that. If you want to be great, you need to serve, that's serve gonna, others. That's going to be tough. I got, yeah, I got a, I got a nail appointment at three and uh, lucky is having a sale on the internet, 50% off. And I, I really want to kind of look online at some stuff. Um, I was really looking forward to putting some people in their place later this afternoon. I wrote that in my day timer. Right. I think Crumble Cookies is having a is having a sale. Uh, either we go get cookies or we help minister. I hope what we just did doesn't end up on that TV show, The Chosen. <laughs> I don't think it will. Oh man, can you imagine? I mean, that's tough. I mean. Anytime you get chosen for chosen for something by someone, it makes you feel really special. And so yeah. you got these 12 guys who were chosen by Jesus to, to be his disciples. But then you look at us and you go, we were chosen by Jesus. Like, that's us, right? And so if we're yeah. not careful, we can get a big head about it. Tommy, you we've been friends since high school. That's a picture of us right there from high school. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who are newbies and don't know kind of our, our origin story, uh, you invited me to church. I said yes to Jesus. Jesus stepped out of heaven and into my heart, and it changed my life. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're watching this, and maybe, maybe you need uh, to accept Jesus into your heart and to say yes to Jesus for because he died for your sins. And he rose again on the third day and we can, we can live with him in heaven. And God did all of that through his son, Jesus. Um, I remember when I had said yes to Jesus and I was driving down somewhere down a road in Oklahoma city and there was a billboard and I really was like, I am a disciple of Christ. I am, I'm doing really great. I am doing really great. <laughs> You know, I'm reading my Bible. I'm doing quiet times. I'm going to camp. God, you must really love me and be, must be really impressed. And I am not joking. I saw a sign going down. Uh, I, I don't know if it was 77 or what, but it said, don't be so humble. You're not that great. Oh. And there is a there is a thing, friends, that we must, no matter how young or old we are, there's a continual check in our spirit because God looks at our heart. How are you lowering yourself in the name of Jesus to serve others, to put yourself last? And it's the little things to not get in line first or to, or to, you know, someone doesn't have any money, but you do go ahead and buy their lunch, find different ways to serve one another. Um, Mark 10 says, Jesus asked the question, what can I do for you? Mm. Are we asking that question? That, that's a servanthood question. Yeah, straight out of Jesus' mouth, our verse today, Matthew 23, 11, right, is like, hey, if you want to be great, be a servant. I mean, and that's, we all want to be great, you know? I mean, that that ultimately, you want to be great. And to be great, you have to serve. Uh, we used to do a camp, and they would give away an award. It was called the Me Third Award. And the idea behind it was that you put God first, others second, and yourself third. And when we talk about being humble, really what it means is that. It's putting God first, others second, and yourself third. Thinking of others before you think of yourself. I I always wanted to win that award. When I look back on the Me Third Award, I was performing too much to even be third. I was like, look what I did. I threw away trash, everybody. Look what I did. I helped this person. Look what I did. Oh, and that's a great point, Eddie. Like Jesus time and time again will say these words, your father in heaven sees what is done in secret and will reward you. Like we don't have to be rewarded here because God's watching and he loves it. When we, I was at a restaurant yesterday and, I, and, and there was this couple uh, that were trying to come in and it was an older lady with her husband and she was pushing in a wheelchair and this guy jumped out of his booth and ran to the front door and opened the front door so that they could come in. You know, it was really simple, but it was an act of servanthood and it was really beautiful. Like, look for those little things that you can do to serve other people.
Yes. Uh, re repeat the memory verse one more time, Tommy. Matthew, nice. Matthew 23, 11. Okay. I'm going to read it out loud from here so I don't mess it up. Uh, and it says this, the greatest among you will be your servant. The greatest among you. If you want to be great, really great, be a servant. Hey, let's all repeat that right now. The greatest, greatest among, among you, you will, will be, be your servant. Your servant. Let's say it right now, then we all have memorized a verse, and then you can video yourself and send it to us at Skit Guys. So let's all say it together, shall we? Mm -hmm. Here we go. The, the greatest, greatest among you, you will, will be, be your servant. Yeah. Uh, hey, did you get the word? You want to try to guess the word? I, I didn't say it a lot in uh, the skit, but I said it a lot when we were explaining things. And it's not that it's not servant or serve. Humble? No, but that would have been good. I don't know. It was great. Oh, great. It's it's we gotta turn we gotta turn it upside down, right? Yeah. Because what we think is great isn't great. What's great is upside down. It's it's serving is how you be great. That's good. That's good, buddy. All Eddie, right. You, hold it. on. You talked about memorizing the verse and sending the video. Uh, we got one from our very first uh, Bedtime Bible Story this season. This is okay. Taylor James, um, and I think he is from Awesome University. Love it. Do all you can do to live at peace with everyone. Romans 12, 18. Love it! Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's great. He, he was wearing he an Awesome Boston. University shirt, so he really is from Awesome University. I love it. Hey, by the way, before we go, what what is that trophy in the back there? What's that? Oh, I forgot that was there. Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just it's just the trophy from Camp Catawba. What? Yeah. I'm yeah. wearing a Camp Catawba shirt. Oh, you know what? That reminds me what we were supposed to tell them. Tell them. Um. Next Sunday, at bedtime Bible stories. Super important announcement about Camp Catawba. I want to be here next Sunday at six. I can't wait. I might be here at seven. Okay. Okay. Seven thirty. Make sure you're going to be here next Sunday. Okay. 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 All right. Good. Well, hey Eddie, you want to pray for us, and then I'll close this out in song. Sounds great. Let Let's pray. Prayer is just talking to God. Let's pray. God, thank you so much. Thank you that your word teaches us you oh thank you thank you that you showed us how we need to live and it's to lower ourselves in the name of you in the name of Christ to help other people allow us to be great upside down as we find little ways to serve others thank you lord for setting the example in your name i pray amen amen now as you end your day as you count those sheep we had fun with our Bible story. Hey, you got a big day tomorrow. Go be great. Go get some sleep. Love you, buddy. I love you too, buddy. Bye. Bye. Bedtime Bible Stories is a ministry of the Skit Guys and is brought to you in partnership with Caleb. Be sure to check out Tommy and Eddie's book, Smells Like Bacon, for hilarious stories from their 30 plus year friendship and tips to help you find and be a good friend. If you'd like to watch more Skit Guys videos, visit skitguys.tv. You can also listen to their podcast, check out Tommy and Eddie's tour schedule, and find out how you can support the ministry. Bye!